March 24, Sunday, Third Sunday of Lent A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke Some people who were present told Jesus about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with the blood of their sacrifices. Jesus said to them in reply, Do you think that because these Galileans suffered in this way, they were greater sinners than all other Galileans? By no means. But I tell you, if you do not repent, you will all perish as they did. Or those 18 people who were killed when the Tower of Siloam fell on them. Do you think they were more guilty than everyone else who lived in Jerusalem? By no means. But I tell you, if you do not repent, you will all perish as they did. And he told them this parable. There once was a person who had a fig tree planted on his orchard, and when he came in, searched for fruit on it, but found none, he said to the gardener, For three years now I have come in search of fruit on this fig tree, but have found none, so cut it down. Why should it exhaust the soil? He said to him in reply, Sir, leave it for this year also and I shall cultivate the ground around it and fertilize it. It may bear fruit in the future. If not, you can cut it down. The Gospel of the Lord Repentance and Faith If you do not repent, you will all perish. With these words, Jesus strikes a fear in the hearts of his hearers and in us. He uses tough love to call us to repentance especially during this season of Lent. Repentance and faith are the fruits that Jesus expects us to produce in response to his preaching. The parable of the barren fig tree shows that Jesus is not after applause or outward show or devotion, even though these are good in themselves. He wants bunga or fruit, not bonga or outward show. And repentance is a deep change a change of mind, our way of seeing things, of heart, our attitude toward things, and of behavior, our actions. Without this deep change, the Apostle Paul tells us, even if the Israelites experienced the same things, being under the cloud and passing through the sea, God was not pleased with most of them. We must pray for true repentance and not allow this precious Lenten time to be spent only on doing devotional acts, rituals, and spiritual exercises, all of which are good but are not enough. For if we are content with this and do not repent, then after Lent, we will go back to our usual ways and usual selves.